Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saucy Reviews here on Internet Nobodies. I'm your host, James, and this week we are at the penultimate episode of Maritime Madness. I don't know why I kind of made it like a thing. Uh, I just kind of did. Uh, anyways, we have two sauces left. I, I am actually going to decide which ones I do right now, uh, or I guess which one I will do currently, just because I kind of have an idea on how I want to finish this. So I'm going to reach into my box and purposefully pick out one this time. This here is the the Fire Candy Candy Blueberry. So this is another dessert style hot sauce like their Candied Habanero, except instead of it being pepper forward, it is blueberry forward. Now I do have to admit, blueberries are not my berry of choice. That would be raspberries. Uh, I think blueberries are below even strawberries and I don't like strawberries that much. That being said, I really like strawberries. Just go with it. Anyways though, I'm really excited to try this. This is one of the sauces alongside the candied habanero that made me really want to try them out. So I think with that, let's just take a look-see. Candied peppers and PEI blueberries. Oh, that's a Prince Edward Island. Okay. Candied peppers and PEI blueberries are amazing and we've captured that taste into a convenient squeeze bottle. Try it on wings, chicken, ribs, ice cream, and more. Oh, interesting. So this is slightly different. Add it to your lemonade or cocktail for an unforgettable drink. That's really interesting. As far as the ingredients go, sugar, jalapenos, so it's going to be fairly mild, blueberries, apple cider vinegar, spices, salt, hops, and xanthan gum. So that's really intriguing. Uh, as far as their burn scale is concerned, yeah, I don't even know if it's upside down or not. It's not. Uh, it is at two out of six peppers. So it should technically be hotter than the uh, garlic goodness that I just tried. If it's not obvious, I have filmed these back to back. Mostly because I really wanted to start using them in my daily rotation and I wanted to obviously film them first. But yeah, no, I, uh, I'm really interested to try it gonna be it's gonna be unique to say the least actually come to think of it I've never had a blueberry hot sauce is that even accurate hold on okay so I was correct the one sauce I was thinking about is uh, Elijah's extreme Reaper hot sauce that one is uh, black cherries and cranberries not blueberries Easy to see why we get that mixed up. Anyways, though, I haven't given this a whiff yet. I'm going to shake it up first, make sure everything's together. All right. So now I'm going to give it a smell. Oh, no, I don't know about this one. Is it the hops that I'm smelling? Oh, it might be. Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't... First impressions, the smell leaves a lot to be desired. I'm going to give it a fair shot, though. I would say I'd give it a fair shake, but I already shook it. It's a little thick. It's okay, though. Nope, that one doesn't do it for me. And I do think it is because of the hops. The blueberries themselves actually taste pretty good. And you can't really taste the jalapeno much, which I'm okay with. I do not really like the uh, flavor of jalapeno much. As far as heat goes, there's none. Uh, this is a very mild sauce. But it's, it's, either what, it's either whatever the spices are or the hops, but I am not into this. I mean, I guess you could probably use it as a substitute for like teriyaki wings of some sort. Uh, and, you know, stir fry foods for that matter. I feel like fruit sauces go actually pretty well with that. I have one behind me, where, right here. It's a, a sour cherry sauce, actually, that uh, does go pretty good with Chinese food. 
But no, the hops, I feel, ruin it. I, I would like to try it without that uh, to see if that's actually my complaint, because it very well could be spices. But no, I, I'd say though, I, one out of five, or I guess four out of five ain't bad for liking them. I do have one more to try though, so I'll reserve judgment, but this was a little disappointing. It's definitely unique though, so I will give it that. It's a very unique sauce, so I guess maybe if you're looking to add just different styles of sauces to your collection, it may be good in that regard, but ugh. I can't see myself using this. I'm going to make other people try it. Anyways, though, that will do it for us this week. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please let us know down below. If you have any sauce recommendations, please put them below as well. Please give the video a like. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoy what you've seen, please subscribe. We will be back here next week for a different sauce. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have a schedule for these going up. But, uh, you know, please join us back here next week for a different sauce. And we'll see you all next time.